Python uses the backslash as escape sequence. This allows Python to display quotes, backslashes, tabs, and new lines. Our formatting character examples all start with a backslash. Let's start with the new line carriage return formatting character, which is backslash m. This creates a new line in the middle of a string. So hello world is followed by a new line and I'm formatting print. The tab character backslash t creates a tab in the middle of a string. Here I have two tabs to help create a header. Let's run the code. We see the two tabs and then another between the name and the age. To display quotes I use a backslash and then either a double or a single quote. In this example I want to show a display of quotation around the text without putting the single quotes around them. Where this becomes more useful is when I have a long string and I want both a single quote or an apostrophe and double quotes. The backslash quote is in either single or double will display the characters. Here is my apostrophe or single quote and the double quotes. Sometimes we just want to show the backslash character. So use two backslashes. Double backslash results in a backslash being printed. We can use formatting characters that all start with the escape sequence backslash to help format our output. Now some words about while loop. A while loop runs while a condition is true. If you write while with the keyword true, it will run forever and is what is known as an infinity loop. Let's take a look at why the while true loop runs forever. Here we have the keyword true. It can't evaluate to anything but true. And so this while loop keeps continuing when it gets to the end of the indentation. But this while true loop only runs one time because we have the keyword break here. Break breaks out of a loop. It returns to the code after the indentation and would run anything that follows. Let's run the code here. It runs once and then breaks. It's kind of a meaningless while true loop because it's hard-coded break and there is no conditional. So we need to look at an example that has a conditional for the break, an if statement. Here, if this evaluates to true, a break statement will run. This while loop, while true loop takes a number guess input, it has a secret number that it's gonna compare against. The number is 5, hard-coded above. Let's run the code. If I put in anything but a number, it will be incorrect, because we are comparing my number guess from the input to the string 5. If it's not the number 5 in a string format, then it will give the message that your guess is incorrect. So we can put in the number. And finally, yes, we are correct. Let's look at another example, where we get input and we ask it to be just a single word. So a single word has no spaces and it is a word and uses only alphabetical characters. So we're gonna use this, this is alpha check. This will evaluate as false for anything that is not an alphabetical character. So a space or some type of symbol. I'll put in a full name. It says that it is not a single word because the space failed the is alpha check. The else statement runs. I can't spell Vitaly with the add symbol. This is not an alphabetical character. So again, it fails and the else runs. Welcome with, we finally wrote just a single word of all alphabetical characters. A while true loop will loop forever until it encounters a break statement. 